Welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to be working on a 2006, it's an F350 Super Duty, and we're going to be replacing the front brake pads. We're not going to be removing the rotors, we're just going to be really uh, replacing just the brake pads because um, money's kind of tight for this customer, so uh, we're just going to be doing the brake pads. So uh, let's get over there, I'm going to show you exactly what to do step by step so you can, uh, you can uh, do this on your own vehicle if needed. Uh, and don't forget, subscribe to my channel, and if you like what I'm doing, give me the thumbs up. Now, right, let's get in there and get to work. All right, here's an example of uh, some of the tools you're going to need to uh, to do the uh, the brakes on this here. It's really not a lot of tools, just a few basic hand tools. This one is to actually push the piston back in. I'll show you how to do that. Obviously, a ratchet with a 16 millimeter socket to remove this bolt here as well as this bolt over here and we're going to remove the caliper from the car and then we'll push it back in. Uh, a pry bar to uh, try to push the uh, pistons back in and if all else fails a screwdriver to, to just give it a push back in. So uh, alright let's get uh, let's get started and uh, get, get this job wrapped up. Okay what you do is get in here with a pry bar and try to pry back the brake pad a little bit so you can get a little bit of a little bit of room to get the caliper off because it get, gets pretty rusty so you just have to keep constant pressure on it and it pushes back in just a little bit just enough to get it off so that's enough to get it off next thing we're going to do is going to take out these two bolts here and we're going to take the caliper off break this loose let's get it back here guys And then we'll break this one loose here too. Okay, once they're loose, you can just take these out by hand. Don't lose them because you're going to need to use these over again. Same thing here. Then we just take the caliper off. I'm going to need two hands for this, so I'm going to put this down. Okay, you just put the two shoes or brake pads in here like this. Put your tool in here like that, and you can turn it and slowly push these pistons back in. Okay. And you just turn it and it pushes the pistons back in place. Okay, once the pistons are pushed back in, then you just take this tool out. Take your two brake pads and just put them on the ground for now. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to take these pads out. Like this. And now we're going to Now whenever you change brake pads, you have to put on the new hardware that goes with it. So you just lay the pads on the ground and you put your hardware on the same way it comes off. There's only one way it can really go. Like that. And this one goes on here like this. Same thing here. Okay. Can't go there. Like that. this and then we're going to lubricate everything and then we're going to put it back in. Everywhere where the brake pad touches you put grease. Like 
this. Right, you take these slide pins here out. And we're going to lubricate these slide pins also to avoid a problem later on down the road. You push the rubber back and you pull them out. Same thing here. And then you take the slide pin out and you lubricate it and put it back right back in again. Make sure it pushes in all the way and the boot comes back up. Same thing here. Like that. Put it back in. Make sure it goes in all the way and it slides nice and easy. All right? It's supposed to have a little bit of spring tension on it like that. And then we'll put the other one into the back. Same way. That's the way they're supposed to be. It's a little bit of tension to pull back off. So when you apply the brake, it, it'll pop back off and it won't stay applied. Next thing you do is put your caliper over the top. Make sure that your hoses are not twisted like this. Then you put it in the back and you slide it over the top. Catch our bolts up to the top. And before you tighten them in, you make sure both of them are caught. If you have them both caught, then you can tighten them up all the way. Okay, you always want to make sure that these these pieces here are in flush where they're supposed to be and not binding up on that piece of the caliper. All right, so now we're tight, top and bottom. We put the brake pads on the way they're supposed to be lubricated everything, and that's it. We're all set. All right, so this side's all set. Next thing we're going to do is go to the other side, and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, and we're going to wrap this job up. All right, thanks for watching. Any questions, any comments, drop me a line. Be more than happy to talk to you about it. 
Okay, thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.